Hi everyone, Alejandro here with Auto Robotics, and today we're going to give you a brief introduction into the Waypoint Mission Planner. Welcome to the flight deck. The Waypoint Mission Planner is a simple yet flexible way to plan an autonomous flight route. It gives you the ability to get multiple angles of one subject. The Waypoint Mission Planner also offers you a great level of detail in terms of your camera and flight control settings. That way you can easily replicate the mission multiple times. It also allows you to point out different points of interest. That way you can always focus on the thing that you need to focus on most. Let's start off by tapping Mission in the main screen of the Autel Explorer app. On the left hand side in the Mission Planner you will see the Waypoint Missions option. By default, the mission's location is going to be based off of your phone's GPS location. If you would like to adjust the location, you can pinch out and drag the map, or you can also search your location based off of an address or a city. If you want to reset the location, you can tap the small compass button up at the top and tap me which will bring it back to your phone's GPS location. Or if you have your aircraft connected, you can also adjust it to your aircraft. For now, let's just go ahead and scroll over and tap Create Project. This will bring up a table with all of your default waypoint mission settings. You can change your altitude from a minimum of 33 feet to a maximum of 2,624 feet. You can change the finish action from Go Home or Hover. You can change the camera action from start recording to stop recording. You can have it take a photo. You can go through a time lapse, or you can also go through a distance lapse. You can change your speed from 2 to 22 miles per hour. You can change the heading settings from route to manual or also custom. And you can change your gimbal pitch from 0 to 90 degrees. Once you have the desired settings set, you can tap OK and that will bring you back to your map view. Now we can just tap anywhere on the map and it'll add your first waypoint. You can continue to tap on the map and add as many waypoints up to a full 99 waypoints. By default, the first two waypoints that you set are going to be your start and end positions, but as you continue to add waypoints, the last waypoint will become the end point. You can also adjust the start and end points by tapping the S and E button down at the bottom. If you want to edit an individual waypoint, just tap on the desired waypoint, and it will pull up that waypoint settings down at the bottom. You can change the waypoint's altitude, speed, the flyover action, and whether or not it's linked to a point of interest. If we tap into the flyover action, up at the top we have flyover and hover. Flying over will mean that the aircraft just flies over that waypoint and continues with the desired heading and hover means that you will have the aircraft hover at that waypoint from a minimum of 10 seconds all the way up to 1800 seconds. If you choose hover, you will only have a couple of different camera actions. You will have time lapse or record. And you can adjust those settings according to whichever one you pick. You will have a video time of one to 10 seconds and you can change the gimbal pitch if you choose to record. And if you choose time lapse, you'll have your interval settings as well as the photo time. Additionally, down at the bottom, we can change the gimbal pitch and the heading of the aircraft while it's at that waypoint. We can change that from route to manual to custom. The route option will keep the aircraft heading to the next waypoint. Manual will keep it going whichever direction you choose with the left stick on your joystick. And custom will adjust it to any sort of degree that you want it based off of north. If you choose the flyover option, you do have a few more camera actions there. You can do start recording, stop recording, you can choose to take photos, or you also have your time and distance lapses. If you choose distance lapse, you can set that interval from 7 feet all the way up to 328 feet and we still have those same gimbal pitch and heading options. Once you have all of the desired camera settings set, go ahead and tap the blue X down here in the bottom right hand corner. 
and that will save the action. Moving on to the bottom icons here, in the middle, we have add or delete a waypoint. You can do this by tapping these plus and minus icons here on your Explorer app, or if you have the aircraft up in the air, you can also add waypoints based off of the aircraft's location, or delete them based off of the A and B buttons that are on the back of your Evo 2 remote controller. Also at the bottom, we have our point of interest icon, which is the icon with a star in the middle. If you tap on that, you can now add and edit any point of interest that you want on the map. So we'll put one here in the middle. Now we have our point of interest. We can tap on it. Once we're in the edit menu, we can choose the altitude, which by default is zero feet, or we can also choose to link the point of interest to any waypoint. So we can tap the all. Now all of those waypoints are linked to that point of interest, as you can see here by the shaded blue-green triangle. That means that while the aircraft is hovering or flying over any individual waypoint, the heading will now be towards the point of interest. You can also tap all again, and that will unlink the waypoints from that point of interest. By tapping an individual one, you will then see that that shaded blue-green triangle will face the point of interest that you've selected. Once you're done, go ahead and tap that blue X icon down in the bottom right hand corner to save your settings. Additionally, you can add waypoints by tapping the plus icon that you see on your aircraft's flight route. This will automatically take you into the edit waypoint menu. Once you've completed your overall waypoint mission plan, in the top right hand corner, you can see the estimates of what your flight time is, the overall flight distance, how many waypoints you've set, and how many pictures or videos your aircraft will take. Once you're all set, you can tap the floppy disk icon down in the bottom, and that will save your mission. You'll see that success message down in the left-hand side, and you can now tap back into your mission tab, and you will see it under the mission history. So whenever you're ready to upload it to your aircraft, you can just go ahead and tap back into it, and tap that fly button. We can open the mission planner back up and tap into the camera view in the top left hand corner. Once in the camera view, we have access to all of our camera settings. That way we can adjust them accordingly prior to starting the mission. From here, you should ensure that you're in the right picture dimension and exposure mode. We're going to tap on the fly button. That will bring up your pre-flight check. As you can see here, you have all of the aircraft's different components and their statuses. If everything is in green, then you are good to go and you can tap that fly button. It will upload the mission, then the aircraft will begin flying to the start point. Here on the right hand side, you have the pause button, which pauses the mission. Or you can cancel the mission completely and you have the option of having the aircraft hover in its position or return to the home point. As always, please make sure that your home point is clear of any obstacles prior to landing. That was a brief introduction into our waypoint mission planning option. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out our rectangular and polygon mission planner video. It'll give you a little bit more insight into how to best identify the suitable option for your use case. Thank you so much for watching and so long from the flight deck.